shit. What's up, man? It's y'all superhero out there. Mr. Rakim, you know what I mean? Just telling me. It's like always and shit. And I was just getting out my car and shit, you know what I mean? Had a little incident. I pick up some little pretty white broad and shit, some brown chick. <clears throat> she paid me 150 a week. Well, that's, that's cool, you know what I mean? Because brother need the cash right now. I was just talking about my superpowers being stripped away from me and shit, you know what I mean? Look at the clock just now. It's about 10 o'clock. I got up earlier and I smoked like two blunts already. I had to go get a pack of blunts and shit. So I just got out of that space mobile, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not, it's not the fact that, oh, he's in an old school car thinking he the shit. No, no. I mean, I could have been a, a Ferrari or some shit, nigga, and I could have still feel and do the same shit. You see what I'm saying? It's just, <clears throat> it's just whatever God give me, I'm satisfied with. Because I didn't spend a dime on it. You see what I'm saying, pimp? I didn't, I didn't spend a dime. I didn't work a week on it. You see what I'm saying? It was just given to me. It was handed to me. You see, in life, some people don't know what to do when certain things are being handed to them. Back to this female, it was handed to her because she was lost. Nowhere to go. And here goes a guy just creeping. Now, she just happened, we just happened to cross paths, you know. It wasn't like a, a, a destiny thing, but we just happened to cross paths. And she said she was, had no destination. And I was like, well, I definitely have a destination. And definitely have a mission for myself. Oh, well, I don't smoke, but that's fine. I'm just looking for somebody who can help out with the rent type shit. Oh, I can give you 150 a week. Oh, yeah, I can hear what you can do. Oh, but I got a check on the way. Today is Thursday. Tonight, at 12 o'clock, that money roll, and daddy need every bit of that one city. See what I'm saying? So, what's the game plan? It'd be super nice, because last night, I'm going to use Almost came out of my carriage. Well, let's just go back and rewind that. Last night, she was on the phone with her little Arab guy, and he stays like, God knows, I don't know the name of that country in Italy, but <clears throat> I, I'm, I'm thinking like, well, shit. You know, I got my Bobby Womack trust, trust you so much song going on right now. It's just the banger in the street. You see what I'm saying? It's the banger in the street, Playboy. You know, and uh, she's with me, and I haven't talked to her like that because I have a girlfriend, so I don't really get down with that. I keep it strictly professional and business like, you know what I mean? Not taking away anything. Last night she was talking to her dude. Last night she wasn't just talking to her dude, but she stepped outside of the house and she was walking around and looking for places that. She can find for rent for her, dude. And I'm like, I got a little upset last night before I went to bed. I was like, yo, I, you can't just be walking around my motherfucking neighborhood doing all kind of crazy shit. You know what I mean? Oh, but you can't tell me I can't walk around your neighborhood. Really? Listen, when you come in the doll house and Kruger house, no, you're not allowed in my hood, I don't give a fuck where you go. That's what I said. I don't give a fuck where you go. But you can take two highways over. But you ain't not allowed in my neck of the woods. You see what I'm saying now? My neck of the woods is this. You're not allowed down that street. You're not. That guy in that car did not tell you you can come out that house or in this street and try to make a way. No. Because you see, that street, that car, that house, this guy is a Freddy Krueger guy, you know? And there's no way I'm going to let somebody get that much power and tell me that they can walk out my doors, walk down my street, and find somewhere else to live. Really? But I guess that's what you do when you find somebody like that. You know, even no, no matter how pretty they are, they all got a mission through all that beauty. I, through my beauty, I got a mission too. I don't know what you see when you see me, but the only thing I see is a way. A way through you. That's right. I give everybody a chance because I had a chance once too. 
Now I feel good just putting in work, watching other people with chances. You see what I'm saying? So when you fuck up, give you a chance to dig that ditch. So when you dig that ditch and you drop in that hole and you walk out that door and you think you back on the street again just because you got a place, well, you don't. It gets stripped from you. I don't need your business anymore. You're welcome to leave. That's what I said last night. Now on three on the phone, she had her little speaker, and I heard her. T- I heard him tell her, "Don't argue with a guy like that. Just go to sleep. Go to sleep." But you know what? I listen, and I listen, and I don't like to make people feel uncomfortable when they're around me when they're spending that kind of money on me. So I told her sorry. I guess everything's okay. And I went to sleep, and she went to sleep in the next room. Now, in the Bible days, Jesus was sitting underneath the tree with his disciples before Judas pointed him out to the soldiers. And Jesus sat down by the tree and Jesus prayed to his father. The only time he had the chance to pray. You see, Jesus was up early before all of them. You see? And when Jesus was up early before all of them, he had time to pray. He had time to rethink the whole situation. You see what I'm saying? You have to be up before your enemy. You have to know that this is your turn. This is your yard. That's right. This is your yard. Nobody can just walk around out here. You can't just fly a fucking helicopter in the sky over me and get away with it. You see that? No picture. Because that's where I'm going to drive anybody. Right back in the little rat hole where they come from when they thinking that they're smarter than me because I'm black and no white people can't call me a nigga because I'm pretty fucking nigga. Okay, because that's an ignorant person. You see, I'm one of the smartest and one of the last Pharisees left. Trust me. Trust me. It ain't over. Until fat man said, No, yeah, they had that back in the Pharaoh days, you know, back in the Bible days with the Pharaoh. Ferris, and I refuse to let anybody get the last laugh or even a win. I've been champion for a long time. Let's take a look. Let's, 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 let's see. This, is, this guy got all this smell. Let's go deep into it. Let's go deep into it. Let's, let's see what's wrong. And this is what my TV does. my TV do this shit. You know what I mean? It's gangster TV. Bitch. Let's see. Melissa, Melissa, Them. I put the cat out because I didn't want you opening the door because the cat 
If the cat don't have a mind of his own, ask him to go out. And just because he's, he talks, but that don't mean let him out. Never let him out. My God, it'll be the end of the world. Okay? Because he's got a ego on the porch. And he has all his freedom on the porch. Grandma get tied on that back pool back here. And he got all his freedom during the day. I give them their freedom, but as far as outside, I do not let them run around freely outside. I got them under, they, they got a good daddy. They know what's going on. But get them over there and I'm about to go back out and get them in your little space, okay? Tonight I'll be waiting on that money. Tonight? Wow. No, silly. Today is Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> 